43 Dogo Argentino facts every owner should know. Number 1. Robust and sizable. The Dogo Argentino is a sturdy breed, standing at an impressive height of 24 to 26 and a half inches at the shoulder and carrying a weight ranging from 88 to 100 pounds. These dogs were uniquely bred to be both an adept hunter and a cherished family companion. Number 2. An ideal Dogo Argentino embodies a grand, robust, and athletic appearance that conveys a sense of dynamic strength and vitality. This includes a sturdy head held up by a thick yet graceful neck and a well-proportioned body. Number 3. The Dogo Argentino is known for its striking and well-proportioned head, where the length from the front to the back is in perfect balance with the width across. The skull itself is gracefully contoured thanks to the well-developed biting and nape muscles. Number 4. This breed features medium-sized almond-shaped eyes usually in shades of dark or hazelnut, and they are protected by thick eyelids, preferably with black rims. It's important to note that if the eyes are blue or have any traces of blue, it results in disqualification for the dog as per the breed standard. Number 5. It's common to have their ears cropped, giving them an erect or semi-erect triangular shape, with the length not exceeding beyond 50% of the ear's front edge. When left uncropped, their ears are of medium length, broad, thick, flat and rounded at the tip. In their natural state, the ears hang down but they become semi-erect when they are alert. Number 6. The breed usually has tight-fitting lips, ideally with black pigment. These lips are very short, which helps them breathe more easily through the commissure at the back corner of their mouth when they are holding prey. Number 7. Dogo Argentinos are known for having well-developed jaw bones that align correctly. Their biting strength is mainly attributed to the angulation of the lower jaw. Preferred bites for this breed include the scissor bite, while the pincer bite is also acceptable. Furthermore, there is a subtle but noticeable stop, especially when observed from the side. Number 8. Their neck stands out for their thickness and strength along with a graceful arch. The skin on the neck is thick and has some wrinkles but does not have an excessive dewlap and its elasticity comes from the relaxed cellular tissue. Number 9. These guys boast a wide and deep chest that extends below the elbows and viewed from both the front and the side. The loins found in their lower back are short and muscular while the abdomen shows a somewhat tucked up appearance. Additionally, the croup, which is the area near the tail, is broad and robust. Number 10. The Dogo Argentino has a tail that is set at a medium height and looks like an extension of the spine. It's thick at the base and tapers down to the hock joint, resembling a saber. The tail hangs naturally when the dog is at rest, but during action, it's raised to about a 45 degree angle to the top line, forming a graceful curve. Number 11. The breed's front legs are sturdy and straight, with robust bones and muscles. When you look at them from the front, they stand parallel to each other. The pastern joint is broad and lines up with the forearm, without any bony fold in the skin, and their front paws have short, closely knit toes resembling a cat foot. Number 12. Dogo Argentinos have broad hindquarters with highly developed thigh muscles and short rear pasterns. These hindquarters display a moderate angulation that complements the forequarters. The hocks are sturdy and stand perpendicular to the ground without any rotation. Number 13. Their coat is consistent, straight, short, and sleek, typically about half to three quarters of an inch in length. Having long hair is not in line with the breed standard and is considered a disqualification. Unlike certain breeds, these dogs do not possess an undercoat. Number 14. Distinguished by their predominantly white coat, the Dogo Argentino may occasionally exhibit small black patches on the head, ears, or around one eye, but these should not surpass 10% of the head size. It should also be noted that for equally exceptional quality, preference is given to dogs with a purer white coat. Number 15. The Dogo Argentino is generally a healthy breed with an average lifespan of 10 to 12 years. However, like many breeds, there are a few health issues to be aware of that these dogs can be susceptible to. Number 16. Although Dogo Argentinos are not prone to many canine diseases, it's important to note that they can still be at risk of developing health issues such as canine hip dysplasia and gastric dilatation valvulus, also known as bloat. Number 17. These Argentine Dogos are also susceptible to various skin allergies, which can span from mild to chronic in nature. One of the most prevalent chronic skin conditions in the breed is pyoderma, which leads to severe bacterial infections. Number 18. Another significant skin disease that can affect the Dogo Argentino is demodectic mange. This condition typically manifests when the dog is around 12 to 18 months old. Demodectic mange is a skin disease caused by demodex mites and can vary in severity, ranging from localized to generalized form. 
Number 19. Additionally, other health concerns that can affect Dogo Argentinos include conditions like laryngeal paralysis, hypothyroidism, and periodontal disease. Number 20. The Dogo Argentino, similar to Dalmatians, White Boxers, and White Bull Terriers, can be vulnerable to pigment-related deafness, with an overall rate of approximately 10% affected dogs. Deafness in Dogo Argentinos can appear either in one ear or both ears. Number 21. Dogo Argentinos need to adhere to strict breed standards, with specific criteria for their appearance and traits. Deviations from these standards include height outside the specified limits, blue eyes, non-black nose color, misalignment of the jaws, the top lip extending below the bottom jaw, long hair, multiple spots on the head except for small ear spots, and black spots anywhere other than on the head. Number 22. Courage could easily be considered the middle name for the Dogo Argentino. Renowned for their unwavering bravery and tenacity, these dogs are not known to back down from any challenge. Their remarkable blend of a strong physique, a strong prey drive, and a consistently even temperament makes them exceptionally courageous. Number 23. Despite being large and imposing, Dogo Argentinos are excellent family companions. They form strong bonds with their families and are notably affectionate and cuddly with them. However, due to their protective nature, it's essential to provide them with extensive social to ensure they are well adjusted. Number 24. Dogo Argentinos have demonstrated the ability to excel in various competitive arenas, including obedience, tracking, and schutzen. Their intelligence, athleticism, and strong work ethic make them well suited for these activities, allowing them to achieve impressive results in these competitions. Number 25. Dogo Argentinos are renowned for their impressive bite force, which can reach up to 500 psi, showcasing the breed's formidable and robust jaw strength. Number 26. These dogs are recognized for their potent and imposing barks as well, which have a dual purpose, deterring potential threats and alerting their owners to intruders. However, it's worth mentioning that all their barks, whether triggered by excitement or other factors, can come across as equally strong and intense, emphasizing their protective nature. Number 27. The Dogo Argentino is a substantial, mastiff-type dog breed with their roots traced back to Cordoba, Argentina, in the early 20th century. Initially, these dogs were bred for dog fighting, but their purpose later evolved to include hunting, where they excelled in pursuing games such as peccaries and pumas. Number 28. In the 1920s, Antonia Norris Martinez, a student hailing from Cordoba, Argentina, initiated the development of the Dogo Argentino breed. His goal was to enhance the breed's fighting capabilities, size, and strength compared to the old Cordoba fighting dog, marking the beginning of the breed's unique lineage. Number 29. The Cordoba fighting dog, which played a pivotal role in the development of the Dogo Argentino, has now faded into history as a relic of a bygone era, when dog fighting was more widespread. These dogs have outlived their initial purpose, and they are no longer in existence today. Number 30. The creator of the Dogo Argentino breed, Antonio Norris Martinez, employed a remarkable combination of 10 distinct dog breeds in crafting the Dogo Argentino. The breeds incorporated in this breeding program were the Boxer, Spanish Mastiff, Great Dane, Bull Terrier, English Pointer, Pyrenean Mastiff, Dog de Bordeaux, Old English Bulldog, Irish Wolfhound, and the Cordoba Fighting Dog. Number 31. Over multiple generations, Antonio Norris Martinez dedicated himself to refining the breed. In the eighth generation of breeding, he introduced a Mastin del Pirenia into the lineage. By the twelfth generation, the dogs consistently displayed the desired traits and characteristics, marking the successful culmination of his efforts to create the Dogo Argentino breed as we know it today. Number 32. The Dogo Argentino achieved recognition and formalized standards through a series of significant milestones. Antonio Norris Martinez introduced the breed to the Club of Cazadores of Buenos Aires in 1947, and a detailed breed standard was published in the magazine Diana in 1948. Number 33. The breed's journey towards international recognition started in 1973 when these dogs were officially accepted by the Federation Sinologic International as the first and the only Argentinian breed solidifying their status as a distinct breed on the global stage. Number 34. The Dogo Argentino received its initial official recognition from the Argentine Kennel Club in 1973, and then the Dogo Argentino Club of America served as the official AKC parent club starting in 1985, playing a pivotal role in guiding the breed through the process of recognition within the AKC's official list of breeds. Number 35. Dogo Argentinos didn't make their debut in the United States until 1970. This breed was officially recognized by the American Kennel Club in 2020, marking it as the 195th AKC recognized breed. This recognition is relatively recent in the context of the AKC. Number 36. On 1st of January 2001, the Dogo Argentino achieved formal recognition 
recognition by the United Kennel Club. However, in the United Kingdom, owning a Dogo Argentino is prohibited under the Dangerous Dogs Act of 1991, unless one has lawful authority or proper authorization. This legislation makes it illegal to possess the breed without the necessary permissions and oversight. Number 37, the Dogo Argentino faces bans and ownership restrictions in multiple countries, including Australia, New Zealand, the Cayman Islands, Denmark, Norway, Fiji, Iceland, Singapore, Hong Kong, and Turkey. These regulations vary from outright bans to stringent ownership requirements. Number 38, Dogo Argentinos are not among the most budget-friendly dog breeds, but their price is a reflection of their quality and unique characteristics. On average, you can expect to find Dogo Argentino puppies with a price range typically falling between $1,500 and $2,500. Number 39, the average litter size for a Dogo Argentino typically ranges from 8 to 10 puppies, as reported by studies. Yep, the breed tends to have relatively large litters, making them a noteworthy choice for those looking to raise a healthy canine family. Number 40, the Dogo Argentino tenacity, intelligence, strength, keen sense of smell, and power make them highly adaptable and well-suited for various roles. Beyond hunting and protection, they excel in search and rescue missions, serve in military and police operations, and are even employed as service dogs. Number 41, Pampero Acon Kawak was a renowned Dogo Argentino with a significant reputation in the dog world. This dog achieved notable titles, including Junior World Winner and European Winner, solidifying status as a distinguished and accomplished dog in a competitive dog show circuit. Number 42. Similarly, Talaacon Kawak was a highly accomplished Togo Argentino with an impressive list of titles. Some of his notable achievements include being crowned world winner in 2001, as well as the titles of Champion Argentina, Grand Champion Argentina, and Latino Champion. Number 43. Bombon El Perro is a captivating film that chronicles the adventures of a man and his faithful Dogo Argentino companion named Bombon in the breathtaking landscapes of Patagonia. The movie captures the transformative power of companionship in the unexpected ways in which the bond between a person and their loyal canine companion can shape their destinies. Alright guys, now which of these Dogo Argentino facts intrigued you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.